Hey everyone, Beth Dawkins from EWS Network here. Um, I'm going to do a quick little demo as to how to make pineapple salsa today. Um, something that I love for summer is some fresh fruit salsas. I find they're versatile, they're impressive, they're colorful, um, they're a nice app to set up for your company or even to have for dinner. Um, I like to pair them with like a fish taco or a fresh piece of grilled meat. Um, like I said, today we're going to be making a pineapple version. Um, another favorite version of mine would be a mango salsa, really good for fresh tacos. Um, the nice thing is they keep well in the refrigerator. They're loaded full of vitamins and nutrients. Uh, you know, very little seasoning uh, necessary, very little dressing either. So let's hop right into it. Um, I cheated a little bit in that I did some prep ahead of time. Um, but really when you're looking at this recipe, six ingredients, including your lime juice, um, you can maybe whip it all up within about maybe 10 minutes at most. So of course the key player here would be your pineapple. Um, I cheated, went to the grocery store and bought the one that's already cored and peeled. Uh, sometimes with pineapple, it's kind of hard to judge that timing of when it's going to be ripening. Um, so either is great. Um, but again, if you're getting just a fresh peeled cord version, uh, you're not going to really notice a difference in terms of like processing, right? It's just basically fresh pineapple. So that's all been chopped and diced. Uh, side note, I would recommend shying away from your canned pineapple. Uh, full of preservatives and added sugar. So we're talking fresh pineapple here. So we got our full pineapple, all cubed and diced. To that, all I'm gonna do is add one red pepper, again, diced also. So we got our pineapple, our red pepper, one of each. We're gonna share the recipe as well, so don't you worry. We got a jalapeno pepper. So again, nice for adding a little bit of kick a little bit of heat and flavor. And out of the hot peppers, jalapenos aren't as strong as some. So again, the nice cool factors of your pineapple and the other fruits in here, it's a really nice compliment. So from that, we're gonna add our red onion. Again, summertime, colors. I opt for red onion in place of a lot of cooking onions or white onions. I add that pop of color. I even just like them, you know, sliced and grilled also. And I always buy like the big, maybe 10 pound bags of them. They're always really handy to kind of pop into cold storage, have on hand. Uh, again, with grilling, with salads, with salsa, um, you're always gonna find that use for a red onion. So we're gonna pop that into our salsa as well. Last but not least, when it comes to produce, herbs and spices, uh, one of my favorites, cilantro. Um, so a lot of the time, even though we don't have a lot of space, a lot of us like to grow our own little herb garden. So I find in the summer, there's no shortage of cilantro. It's a nice fresh flavor as well. So we're gonna pop that into our salsa as well. So with those five ingredients, that's gonna make up the bulk of our salsa. So keep in mind, it basically just chopped fruits and veggies. Uh, you could supplement the pineapple for a mango, uh, maybe a green apple, uh, even diced tomato if you want a more traditional what you would maybe think of when you think of salsa. But that's all of our produce in there. Just going to grab a spoon. So we're going to go ahead and mix that up. And you can see as well, beautiful complement in terms of colors, a nice fresh flavor. This keeps well in the refrigerator. Good for those fish tacos. And I love it too with a nice piece of grilled chicken breast. All we're gonna do for dressing wise, if you will, we're gonna put in some lime juice. So the recipe calls for about two tablespoons. I've made this enough to kind of eyeball it, but like with any dressing, with anything, uh, don't overdo it. You can always add more as you want, but it's hard to take out a recipe once it's in there. So we got our lime juice there. Again, about half a tablespoon of sea salt. So I'm just going to throw in a little bit of that salt as well. 
mix it on top, and voila. So you can, again, you can see it's fresh, it's colorful, it's loaded full of vitamins and nutrients. Great to uh, add to your summer barbecues. It keeps well in the refrigerator. Uh, great for fish tacos and sides. So one of my favorites for sure. Um, again, the recipe is going to be included. Um, and I hope that gives you some tips. Explore the salsa world.